there's no ceiling, is there? Well, there's a re reason for that. <laughs> uh, I broke a blade while I was trying to uh, sawzall all this uh, stuff. So we did go to, back to the hardware store to Lowe's to we'll grab some more blades. We're going to have to trim it up before the ceiling goes up. But we also have some great news here. We have Justin putting together some of the first cabinets. And uh, this is a very exciting moment here. This is one of the YouTube cabinets. This is where some of the power, some of the USB ports are gonna be and a little shelf for, you know, my friends and visitors to, you know, put their laptop and their camera and, you know, charge it on up. You wanna drive in the first screw? All right. The nice and square. As you can see, we're using pocket yep. holes. That's it. That's it. Wee hoo! Nice. It's it's nice and clean. Excellent. I'll let the the professional take the take the helm here. Take the wheel. Oh, easy. So that's how cabinets are made. You got there, buddy. I got a cab. Yeah. YouTube cabinet. Oh, YouTube cabinet. Look at that. That's a big cabinet to put YouTube stuff. You can put like a big old YouTube emoji in there or something. You know? Wait a minute. Yes? Oh, uh-oh. Hey, look, we're... it's a YouTube. <laughs> we're putting a, a YouTuber in the, in the cabinet. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Nice one. Why don't you walk us through? Show us what you're doing here. I'm just putting these stop blocks on exactly four inches up. And so we put the shelf in, then it's... The um, bottom shelf? Yeah, the bottom shelf, it's exactly where it has to be. Excellent. This is exciting stuff. I've never built cabinets before, but surprisingly, it, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's surprisingly simple. All right, you just essentially have a square, and on the inside of them, you make these things called pocket screws. And the actual construction is easy. It's all of the thinking that goes into getting to this point. Sink, YouTube cabinet, YouTube cabinet, 12 incher, 12 incher, and I forget what's going in the middle, but we also have this odd shaped one. Uh, this is gonna be a fun one to put together. It's gonna be a little, well, not tricky, but a little bit different. Passenger side cabinets. Uh, obviously, we have one that's uh, transitional, and uh, this one, you know, a little bit short. So this bumps up. This is uh, arm rest level, just like uh, Mike's, where there's a uh, arm rest right there. Transition to a higher part. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Uh, and then the other side, it goes right. Same thing. Arm rest level over bumps up. Uh, sink, and then to the side of this is where the pull-out 12-volt top-loading fridge will go, uh, which I think that's right there. Look at all the spray foam. Holy crap. <clears throat> I did everything, recut everything except this last piece. I'm gonna cut that shortly. Steve and I are gonna work on the ceiling. Cross my fingers, finally. Uh, <laughs> Or to come down to where those bars are and those bars, we gotta do some stuff on the uh, roof with uh, two lights, well, a total of four. Two on each side, two speakers on this side. Speaker wire arrives today, drill some holes, have some fun, life is beautiful. Super happy to be here at Colorado Custom Coachworks. All right, this was the last piece. This is the back of the bus. <clears throat> Basically just took this uh, little piece of wood with the green edge, 
This went sideways, level it off, cut it with the sawzall. Uh, we're looking pretty good. Let's check in with Steve here. He's going to be very excited. Steve, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> we'll put the paint away. Okay, cool. Well, no, yeah, we'll finish up painting. Um, so, this means it's time for a time lapse of uh, the int uh, whole. Well, we're not going to go non stop for the whole ceiling because we've got to drill some holes, but we'll do a time lapse uh, of the ceiling. Now, where you guys weren't looking, I uh, added some paint. That's our guide. From that guide, we're gonna go to the left. When you're looking at it this way, we're gonna make the center parts and we're gonna recess these nice little 12 volt lights. Recess lights are gonna go. We got one, two, three. We're gonna have a total of four down the uh, middle of the bus, and those are pretty darn centered. So I might as well just put in these nifty little 12 volt lights right now and uh, get the wires hanging out. Oh, would you look at that? I got my light holes there. I tested the holes. We have uh, some of the 12 volt wiring strung out and labeled. These are for the center lights. We'll get We'll get more of that later. A wise man would spray <laughs> would spray over the wires and put the wires wires up before you spray. But this is a work in progress. Me, my life, my bus is a work in progress. I learn as I go through experiences more than research. So I'll do a little bit of research, and uh, you know, just things to note for the other time. But. If you guys do spray, you want to add something, or you're doing it this way, it can be done. Um, and it can be a little bit more helpful if you don't know exactly what you're doing yet. You kind of are figuring, figuring things out along the way. We didn't have every single detail planned out, but if, yeah, the only way to know in advance is to plan out every single detail. But, uh, you know, this system definitely works. There, you can just, I just wire right next to the phone. Mm -hmm. 